Okay, what's up, Aries? Sorry. What's up, Aries? Aries. Okay, Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. So this is a general reading. It doesn't apply to you, just let it go. If it does, perfect. Um, this is from now, July 15th until the end of the month. Finish, I think it's the 31st or the 30th or whatever. Um, yeah. New cards, they're bigger. Means you can pay attention more. Aries. What does Aries need to know? Okay. A. Are you feeling okay? First of all, I wanted to ask because the full time I was shuffling, I was like, Ugh. and then the card that popped out is the card of stress and anxiety. So I hope that y'all are able to sleep at night because I hope you can sleep properly because this looks stressful, but let's see what comes out. I'm gonna hold that there. Do three. Two, one. Okay. Aries, Aries. Bottom of the deck, guys, you have new opportunity. What are you fucking stressing out about? You have uh, Ace of Coins. It's like, something's coming up. This is good op options, good opportunities, new money, new ideas, new ideas that will lead to money. Um, like, Ace of Pentacles can be an offer. Like, that's a good card. It's a really good card. Why are you stressed? Why? Full of four. Like, nine of swords, really? What are you stressing about? Ugh, because you won't walk away from something. You feel like, oh my God. Okay. Some of you are still dealing with people from the past or they've come back up and you're like, what the fuck are you doing here? Why are you here? That's what's stressful. You have the Hierophant reversed. You are not paying attention to your internal compass. Like some of you feel, oh, I have intuition. Oh, I should follow it, but I'll just ignore it. Follow my intuition? Fuck no. Why? Why would I follow my, like you should follow your intuition more. I feel like now is a really good opportunity for you to break some cycles. You have a good opportunity right now to break some cycles. You have a good opportunity over the next two weeks to break your cycles. Like if you've been stuck with something for a long time, maybe you're like out too much or you're fucking not committed to something that you know you should be committed to this. You're like, oh, that, I wanna commit, oh, but I can't, I can't. I won't, I don't want to. Why? Because this cycle, this is more comfortable. This is better, I know this. This I know how to do. That, I don't know what that is. I don't know how to do that. I don't wanna try something new. I don't want that. It's like, you have to. You have to start thinking in a new perspective, new approach, like, you have to. Everything you've been doing that's the same, 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 habit, tradition, you have to get rid of it. Habit, get rid of it. You have to focus on the new. Why? Because you're having some problems walking away from something, for sure. Eight of Cups, reverse, talks about, oh, I should leave. I should leave, 
I'm missing something and I should go find it. It's like you have eight cups, boom, 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 but one is missing and you wanna leave everything. And these are things that you value. These are things that you love, that you've had forever. It's been the same, you're like, oh, but they're amazing. But I know inside I should leave. But I don't want to, it's just so comfortable. I don't want to do it. You have a way better opportunity coming to you if you do it. You have a better life ahead of you if you leave now. And I don't mean like, quit your job, leave your family. Like, that's not what I'm talking about. For some of you, maybe it is, and that's fine. If that's what feels right, then like maybe you need to trust that. But like, I'm talking about something that you've held on to for a long time, a tradition, or something that's just been like my comfortable little wall. I'm like, oh, just stay, 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 stay. No, it's like you need to break out of that, let it go, new approach, new beginning, new, 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 you have to, okay? Your world is going to feel like you're flipped upside down, or right now you may feel like, what the fuck is going on? The world? flipped you feel like whoa like this is not stable i'm like i don't know what to do you just have to trust the process you have to try new things you have to you can't look at the past anymore it's no longer joyous like six of cups reverse when it's this way it's like you're not even really looking back and loving the memory of it you're looking back and you're not like Oh, this is beautiful. No, you're looking back being like, really, still, ugh, I hate that. Oh, I'm stuck on this and just let it, like, let it go. Move forward, new chapter, new book, new something. Because if you don't, this is gonna fucking stress you out for a while. If you don't take this opportunity with the eclipse, with this new energy coming into play and you need to apply it, start something new, if you don't take that opportunity, if you don't take this opportunity, you will regret it. I'm telling you that right now. You will regret it. If you don't take the opportunity that is presenting itself right now, grab it. If you don't grab it, you just leave it. It's gonna go away. You're gonna be stuck in the same bullshit and then you're gonna be like, fuck, why did I do that? It's like. Don't later look back and be like, shit, no. Grab the opportunity now. It's presenting itself, okay? Two weeks, grab it. Change your approach, change your perspective, change your habit, whatever the fuck you're doing, change it, okay? I love you. I'm still doing personal readings discounted 40 bucks until August. If you book before August and then after that, they're just normal price again, 55 for half hour and 90 for one hour. Okay. Love you. Good luck. See you in two weeks. That's it.